The Christian Medical College Ludhiana is an educational and research institution of an all India character established and run by the minority Christian community. Its primary aim is to educate and train Christian men and women as health professionals in the spirit of Jesus Christ for the healing ministry of the church in India. CMC has a rich heritage and legacy. Established 114 years ago, the emphasis goes to Dr. Edith Mary Brown, who had the vision to put up this institution. Dr. Edith Mary Brown arrived in Ludhiana on 9th November 1891 to join the Greenfield Sisters. In the year 1894, we had the first four students of the North Indian School for Christian Women. She wanted to do something for the women of the region. She joined hands with the Greenfield Sisters. The Greenfield Sisters were pivotal in the formation of our institution. On the 4th of May, 1891, was the opening of the dispensary in Chora Bazaar, assisted by the Podson sisters who knew Urdu well. And from there, it has been an eventful journey to his present state. On 1st January 1905, Dr. Anna Church was appointed principal. She was the first principal of the institution. In 1906, Dr. Anna Fullerton was appointed principal for a year, 1907 to 1908. Dr. Mary Riggs Noble was principal. From 1909 to 1941, Dr. Edith Mary Brown was appointed principal and continued as MS. 1912 to 1913. Punjab decided to close down the Punjab School of Medicine for Women and recognize the North India School of Medicine for Christian Women as the official medical school for women in the Punjab. In 1913, a change of constitution was made to make it Women's Christian Medical College. All staff who were employed in CMC had to sign a memorandum of 16 bylaws. Here are the handwritten bylaws by Dr. Brown herself. Notice law number 6 which says that the salary should be paid in English money, 80 pounds per annum the first two years, 100 pounds per annum for the third and fourth years, and 120 pounds per annum for the fifth year and afterwards if reappointment be made. 1941, the year of transition. Dr. Brown retired in November of 1941, emeritus principal and treasurer and lifetime member of GB. In 1941, Aileen M.S. Pollock took over as principal as M.S. Fellow missionaries in CMAI promoted the idea that the church in India could only afford one such institution in India, and that should be CMC Valor. Miraj Medical Center was therefore closed. Dr. Pollock refused to accede to this and argued that the college in Ludhiana would continue in its existing state for some time, and when CMC Valor has achieved its goal, attention should be paid to the needs of Ludhiana. She took a heroic stand, and history has vindicated her faith. Partition communal riots. This was very stressful for Dr. Pollock. During the days of trouble, uh, unrest in the region, the, the doctors and the nurses and the staff of CMC have stood firm and helped all the uh, people affected in a way which was uh, entrusted to them by the vision of the founder. She had led the institution during the most trying time of our history and enabled the institution to survive. Dr. Eileen Snow, after whom Snow Hostel, the women's hostel, is named, in November 1948, she became principal and MS. It was during her tenure in 1950 that CMC's new constitution was approved and the first four male students were admitted. In 1953, CMC upgraded to MBBS and the pioneer batch with male students were admitted. In all this, um, it has been an immense contribution from the missionaries from all over the world. Today what we find in CMC is the 
uh, the culmination of all their efforts. What is the vision for the future? Uh, recently we have put up a Betty Cowan Research Center. This is one landmark event in the history of CMC. Today, where does CMC stand in relation to the exchange He was in Moga. But uh, we don't get sufficient amount of treatment there. So we have faith on CMC. That's why we got our present here. We think this is the best possible way of treatment. That's why we came to CMC. बहुत बढ़िया साड़ी निगाह मांगी यही बढ़िया इजाब कोई मेरा नाचन है CMC continues to provide the best healthcare to the poor and the rich alike.